What's up everybody? This is Zach with Veteran Construction. Uh, been a while since I posted and um, I just wanted to show you guys why I really haven't been posting aside from my vacation. Um, I just want to show you guys a bit of what my life looks like. Okay, so so first things first, we're, we're uh, dumping, uh, let's not show you the back seat too much. Uh, we're dumping all this aluminum off, recycling it. Um, this is only my second day back from vacation. They left my house a mess, so tearing off all my siding and things like that. So anyhow, um, we're about ready to pull in right here. And for the rest of this video, uh, I'm gonna be doing a nice little project on my house. Um, Re-roof and some soften and fascia. Uh, it's actual sub fascia too. We're gonna be cutting some bird, or not bird's mouth, uh, raptor tails and shit. So stay tuned. So first things first, yeah. dropping all this aluminum we packed in here. We uh, packed as much as we could. It was probably about yay tall. And then we smashed it down with this plywood. A couple of us stood on it, ratchet strapped it down, put even more on, built up these little walls. Probably, uh, definitely helped actually. I was gonna say it might not have been necessary, but I think it did what it was, what it was supposed to do. And helped me get a bit of a bigger load in here, so. I'm going to drop this and then hurry up and get the uh, dump trailer over from my buddy Chris because I don't own one yet. And then I'm going to bring it over and we're going to get started on that big project. All right. I feel like I barely made a dent. <laughs> it's too, too much too early. God bless. All wrapped up and it damn near looks like the guy came with the dozer and pushed it But he didn't I did it so he's gonna appreciate that and he's not gonna check on me anymore Then I can fill my downspouts with dirt just kidding Thank you Let's See what I got Ooh, $162 Hardly worth all the time scraping the styrofoam off and the man hours and all that nonsense. We'll just add that to the stash. Oh, yes. Get on in there. Okay. You go home with your fans. <laughs> so the most unusual thing just happened. And yes, I'm talking about you commenting about how unsafe I am when I'm not even looking at the camera. Okay. I understand I shouldn't be driving while looking at a camera, but the viewers need what they need, okay? Anyhow, I was just at a Family Express, and the clerk started asking me, you know, business stuff. You know, you're real busy this time of year. I know a bunch of roofing contractors, and they're surprisingly busy. We've had a very mild winter. Couldn't have asked for a better winter. So, we're, you know, we're bullshitting about that, and, uh, you know, he, he asked me, he goes, do you have any advice? I've got a small lawn care business on the side. And he, I keep in mind, this is the Family Express, you know, little clerk right there. And, uh, you know, I just said, you know, hardest thing is, uh, well, first I said, if it's on the side, you know, you must, you must have to bust stuff out. You don't really have time to slack off, which was going to be my advice because it's really easy to get complacent when you have that extra money and all of a sudden, you know, you're not having to work as hard for it and nobody's yelling at you to go to work. You know, it gets a little tough. That was the thing that I had the most trouble with is, you know, respecting my guys and things like that and actually getting out there to do the work, you know, because it was, I had to actually focus my attention on their bank accounts rather than mine because mine was looking pretty healthy at that time. So, you know, it's a tough thing there. That's, that's the advice I was going to give them. And then he ends up saying, he's like, um, yeah, we did, we did, you know, 375 last year. And I knew what he meant, but I didn't. I didn't believe it. I was like, I was like, I was like 375. And he goes, 375,000. I was like, your fucking small side business is bigger than my fucking company, dude. It's like, what advice do you need from me? And he's thinking about having a marketing degree and shit. Out of here, man. Take your 375 and run. Don't worry about how much I do either. Those of you wondering. Y'all ever seen one of these? Little hitch, little hitch locks. Hold out. Come on now. Oh, there she goes. She drops down and then pulls out. And then falls off. 
And then we got this here. I'm gonna show you guys what we do with this in a little bit. All right, y'all know the process. Make sure this thing's back. Lower it down. Send her in. Sometimes don't go. Oh, there she is. All right. Like my old boss used to say, when you don't rock got the right tools, you grab whatever you can find and get her done. Well, we just put that right on in there because we don't got the right shit. I found that, and it works just fine. Safety. Top priority. This, this damn thing is going to come off. There we go. It's a little better. I don't know if you saw that the whole time. Numero uno, most importante. Do it last though, because that's how I am. Check the chalk blocks. It's on the back side, that's it. All right. And it's a good thing I walked back. <laughs> this thing, usually you can lift that up, but he's got it all the way, all the way maxed, so I can't adjust the pins. Okay, golden leg shower now. All right, so here's the project for the day. This whack little section they built. And uh, I'm not usually one to talk terrible about people's work unless it's really, really bad. And this is really bad. Everything is. So there'll be a video on this either up before you guys are watching this. Rebuild, rebuild in this section. And you'll see what I was talking about. But let's just have a look <laughs> at what they did here. So I'm not sure if that's... Uh, if you can see what they've done. Uh, so this one's cut square the rest of these they cut at pretty much the right angle this this one they cut at the wrong angle so bad so we're basically going to be snapping a line across these squaring them down and uh cutting them off and what we're, what we're going to do for that is we're going to uh we're gonna take off the bottom sheet of plywood. It, it may need done already anyway. We might be doing a whole resheet up there. I'm not sure yet. Um, the crawl space or the attic access up there is in like this little closet that no one can fit through. They did some some stuff some stuff there. So I don't exactly know yet, but um, yeah. Here we are, about 10 minutes in. Look at the way these guys stair up this thing. Look at their plywood. This was a new build. This is the original roof on it. Why? Why? Why did you do that? Look at that. It's like we're going to be resheating this one too. You should never see a crossroads like that. A little four corners. No bueno. Yeah, so this is what we're looking at, and we can't, uh, you know, we can't keep this. It's not okay. So, yeah, vertical sheets here. We cut it five foot long for some reason. Some strange stuff going on. So we're gonna have to resheet this whole thing. They're gonna rip it all off. Kick off that fascia because we're gonna put, uh, we're gonna put two by six on. While we got it, why not? Uh, goes on a lot easier the actual aluminum fascia that we use so much easier to keep it straight and everything and have less oil cans and issues so we're going to do it like that look at that that thing's just it's not even breaking on a rafter strange strange they did it over here too We ain't even gonna talk about what's wrong with this picture. <laughs> this <is> so... <laughs> it's 
first time I've seen up in my attic, though. I love it. James, show us what you're finding, bud. Let me get to the top of here. <laughs> got the box uncovered with no wire nut. Oh my god, dude. What? Can I call that wire? The common. It's common to find that. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking garbage pukes. <laughs> Now I'm getting 16 footers, two by six for fascia here. You wanna make sure that they're straight. So we're gonna sight down them. And we're not necessarily looking for straight like this. It's like this, so the crown. If there's a bad crown in it, I'm not gonna to wanna to use it. I'm not sure if you guys can see. This one's not the worst. Not the best, there ain't the worst. See what they got done. Should be shangled by now. Oh, good lord. They didn't even get started. Get this okay. hip. Right yeah. hey, this uh, is the big boy. After that, <laughs> maybe on my dash or something. Yeah, because there's a giant knot in it. Alright, so isn't that the one you pulled to or no? Yeah, it's an inch in. One inch in? Yeah, one inch in on the top. Like that, one inch, right? Yeah, if you can make it in there somewhere. So what we did here is uh, we came across here and snapped a line across the top. It was uh, one inch on those ends, as you can see over there. And then this was really, uh, these were really long in the center. Although you can't much tell, they are. So, we squared these down. We're gonna run a saw, we're gonna run a saw down them now on all sides. So. I don't even really want to explain what's happening. Just know that their rafter system here is not centered from side to side or this way. Those back rafters that go down on the back side back here, 110 inches, these ones um, in the front here, sorry, I'm getting a phone call. These ones in the front are 114 inches. The ones on that side going up that way all the pitches are different by the way uh those ones are 154 inches those ones are almost 165 so this thing is all kinds of different and we're doing some uh we're taking our second second best guess at how to fix this now well there we go if you can't see what we did to fix it, I'm not gonna explain it. <laughs> but it's level now. We just gotta cut off, uh, it's like one rafter tail on the bottom. That one was super loose. But now our fascia is gonna look straight with our siding and that's the exciting part. We did what we had to do. We're probably going to have to do the same thing to the opposite side, which is going to suck because we don't have a roof to stand on. But we'll figure it out. Whew. Good Lord. This is messy.
we had some stuff to deal with. Still got to cut that end off over there. We let it fly. Same thing with this end over here. But damn, she looks a lot better than she was. Staples. Here, James. That's for sure. Staples. Have her shingled up tomorrow. Starting a bathroom remodel too. So I got somewhere else to go after this. Got to get the sign. Contract sign and fucking downstroke, baby. Hey, I'm taking a cigarette. All right, so I just went home, printed off the contracts, going to get the downstroke right now, get everything signed up for that job tomorrow. And uh, since this is uh, about my day, this video, I'm gonna be going grocery shopping after that and uh, hit the gym. Okay, I'll see you there. All right, it is 9.45. I'm getting ready to go on a late night run. As you can see, I got my safety vest on. Safety first, as always. Anybody who knows me knows that. Um, yeah, okay. Here we go. I got... Why does this thing keep doing that? I got 11,624 steps. It's kind of low for the day, so we're going to get that up. I'll run a couple miles. So, all right. I'll check back in with y'all when I finish. All right, just got it wrapped up. It is, uh, I think, 10:23, and here's my workout here. I'll get back on there. Come on now. All right, yep. Three miles, and this don't this don't include my warm up or cool down. Nice easy run. Hit that finished workout. See how many steps I'm at now. Come on now. I don't care about that. There we go. That's more like it for me in a day. 17.5. Damn near. But yeah. So, I'm going to stretch. Got two quotes to knock out. One for the Heritage Court Apartments. That's the big 45 square roof. I've already got a video on. We're going to do one more. Um, like I said in that video, I'll probably get more units. And that's what I did. So, got that one. And then I got to knock out one for an 85 square uh, office, I guess. So, all right. I think that's going to conclude my day. Got an alarm set for 6 a.m. tomorrow. Going to get the beacon, get the boys some shingles out by 8 a.m. And then I got to go uh, get some material for that bathroom remodel we're starting. We're going to run soften and fascia also at the flip house. So, a lot of moving parts tomorrow also. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know. And do the most important thing as always. That's hit the like button, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Okay, bye.